Math Story Ordinal Numbers Up to 10 Fun Time at the Sanctuary Kids are standing near Ciro's house. It looks like they are waiting for someone. But who? Hello, children. Uncle Matt is here to take them on a trip to a wildlife sanctuary. I am so excited. It is going to be fun. They leave for the wildlife sanctuary. Wildlife sanctuary. The wildlife sanctuary is a place where animals are protected. Today, we will see 10 wild animals and birds. And we will learn about their uniqueness. It will be super fun. Let's go! The first animal we will be seeing is the giraffe. First? What does first mean? Is it a new kind of number? First is specifying the order in which we will see the animals at the sanctuary. Out of the ten animals, first we will be seeing giraffes. The numbers that tell us the position or order of something are called ordinal numbers. You will learn more such numbers today. Suddenly, Sira spots a giraffe with beautiful brown spots eating fresh leaves from the tree. Look, its neck and legs are so long! The second animal we will see is zebra. Look, there is a herd of zebra! Oh yes, there is a baby zebra! Their black and white stripes look brilliant to everyone. The third animal is the deer. A deer family! Wow! The baby deer are running and playing with each other. So cute! Yeah! And look! There's also a small pond nearby! Which animal do we see next, Uncle Math? The fourth animal is the hippopotamus. But I can't spot any hippopotamus. Children, a hippopotamus can live both on land and in water. See, one hippopotamus is chilling in the water. The hippopotamus is huge and heavy. Is the next animal an elephant? Yes, the fifth animal is an elephant. Children, do you know elephants are the largest land animal on Earth? We will also see lions today? Yes, dear. The sixth animal is the lion. Soon, they spot a huge lion near the bushes. Look at its big, sharp teeth and nails. They are so scary. It is a lion. I saw the lion. But a lion on a tree? The kids are surprised to see that a lion can also climb the tree. The seventh animal is the tiger. The kids spot a tiger on the tree and on the ground. Wow! Tigers also have stripes like zebras. Wow! Such a beautiful lake. Look at those colorful birds around it. Yes, the eighth animal is a bird that can stand on one leg. It is the flamingo. How can a bird stand on one leg so easily? Flamingos can stand on one leg and even sleep in this position. Wow! That's amazing! The ninth animal is a crocodile. Crocodiles live in water and on land. They are also extremely fast, which helps them catch their prey. Finally, the tenth animal is a camel. But don't camels live in the desert? You are right, Sira. Camels have the power of living without food and water for a long time. So they are suited in dry places like the desert. But they can also live in the jungle. That's awesome! 
Wonderful! We thoroughly enjoyed the safari, Uncle Math. Thank you for this. But I have a question for all of you. We saw so many animals roaming freely today. What if they were locked in some cage, just like in a zoo? Would it be correct? I would not like it if somebody locked me up in a room. Then how can animals like it? The animals should be allowed to roam freely in the jungle, just like we saw at the wildlife sanctuary. Yes, I won't like, like that, that too. too. Amazing. I could not agree more. All right, it's getting dark. Let's head home. It was a fun-filled day at the sanctuary. Did you enjoy too? We learned that ordinal numbers tell us the position or order of an object. The ordinal numbers from 1 to 10 are 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. A wildlife sanctuary is a place where animals are protected. We also learned animals also have feelings, and we should respect them. Let's discuss. How many animals did we see at the sanctuary? Uncle Math used different numbers to indicate the order of animals. What were they? Would you like to be locked up in a room? Why or why not? How would you feel if you're visiting a sanctuary? Why or why?